It might not be May yet, but all the snow has me thinking about one thing, getting my butt out to Las Vegas. So let's think about what's coming with. Let's get into it. What is up you guys? Welcome to 10 Pin Life. My name is Ben and in this video we are going to talk about these six balls that would be coming with me if nationals were today. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. As May approaches, I'll be doing a lot more videos talking about the Open Championships and kind of what I'm bringing with, layouts, different arsenal options, that sort of thing, so please be sure to stay tuned for more. And before we get too far into it, I want to throw a big shout out to the guys over at Striking Edge Pro Shop. They have been awesome for the last few years in helping me build Build an arsenal for nationals so if you are in the wisconsin area and need help with building that arsenal for what's going to be best for you and your game and your team please be sure to check them out i have a link in the description below so yes i know there's a lot of time between now and the first weekend of may that i actually go out and bowl nationals in vegas however i'm always thinking about the next ball that's going to be added to my bag that's going to come with on that trip I pretty much always build my arsenal around that trip because everything else that I bowl typically works well within that type of an arsenal. Plus I can bring more balls when I drive, so it doesn't really matter. But these are going to be the six balls that if I were to go out to nationals today that are definitely maybe coming with. First off, I really feel like I should throw out a couple disclaimers because this might not work for everybody. So first off, I do throw 14 pound bowling balls. So sometimes the core dynamics are a little bit different than for some other people. I'm also a very low tilt player. So if you have a lot of tilt in your game, you will probably have a much different arsenal than myself. Lastly, I'm not that good. I only have a 189 Nationals average for the last 27 games. I've gotten better every year, so I'm probably gonna fall more into your average Joe category, probably like right on the edge of that standard division, honestly. But I'm not on staff with anybody. Um, I do focus pretty heavily on team communication and making sure that everyone's playing together, but I'm not that good. So last year, I think I made two big mistakes in putting together the six balls that I did. These were somewhat intentional because of the fact that it was four per pair for minors and only the one team on the pair for our team. However, first off, I didn't bring urethane. That was dumb. It's a USB-C tournament. I'm definitely fixing that this year. And the second thing is that, and this has been a consistent problem, is later in minors getting into singles is I just like never have a look with shiny bowling balls. So this year I'm really focused on making sure that I have some options that are gonna look decent when I really just need the ball to float through the middle part of the lane. So we have six balls to work with. What's the first one that goes in the bag? That one's pretty easy. It's gonna be my spare ball. I use the Storm Mix. Uh, this is what I would refer to as my Goldilocks option for spare balls, where plastic really just wiggles and backs up on me. It always does weird stuff. And full urethane or like a pitch black or something like that, uh, I tend to just really suck at right side spares. So the mix being the shiny urethane and really not having a core much at all is a great option for me. So yeah, everyone needs a spare ball, but what about the balls that are gonna knock over 10 pins? Well, the first lock, this is definitely going with no matter what happens between now and May, is gonna be my pitch purple. Yes, I know that it is being discontinued, which I'm very sad about. However, for urethane options, um, I actually like this ball a lot more than the pitch black. I've thrown black hammers, I've thrown purple hammers. This is actually probably my favorite urethane ball that I've ever owned. So this is definitely going with, probably gonna use a lot in team, but also depending on what that miners pattern is, if it's anything like last year, I might end up using it for all of doubles and singles, if we're being perfectly honest. The third ball that goes in the bag is the second lock. This is guaranteed to come with no matter what. I might have a new one between now and then, probably going to. However, the second lock is going to be the 900 Global Zen. Now this ball was way too good for a lot of people last year at Nationals. It seemed to really, really like South Point. Um, and although I didn't necessarily appreciate it as much as I probably should have last year, um, with us going back to the more traditional format of two teams on the pair and six per uh, pair for minors, I definitely am gonna want this ball for um, probably a lot of minors because it's really good at being clean, but also slow. I really love slow transitioning bowling balls, which we're gonna get into here in the next three bowling balls as well. But honestly, it was the best ball of nationals last year. I can't imagine that anything from a pearl symmetrical ball is gonna come out that matches up as well as the Zen does. So why not use it? Those first three picks though, those were really easy. 
the next three are where it starts to get really difficult for me to actually pin down which ball of the balls that I currently have I would definitely bring with to Vegas. So these three balls are by no means locked in for May. It may change between now and then. However, if I were to have to go today, the first of the three maybe balls is gonna be the 900 Global Reality. Now, I did bounce between this ball and the Zen Master quite a bit because they really have started to fall into a similar category for me. However, I tend to be able to be more consistent with asymmetric bowling balls. And the cool part about the reality is it doesn't necessarily behave like the big solid asym that it is. It doesn't do that hook set die type thing. Now, even though it is very good at getting to the pocket in a controlled fashion, it's still got a decent amount of continuation as compared to maybe like a proton physics. So if I need a big high differential solid bowling ball, we're going with the reality. The second ball in the maybe bag might have been the most difficult decision out of all of these, but it's gonna be the Storm Trend 2. Last year, the 900 Global Ordnance C4 was awesome. And what I see out of the Trend 2 currently is just a little bit more of a similar shape. The Trend 2 for me has been great in transition. For some reason, uh, with a lot of my bowling balls, I kind of suck at playing in the track. I'm either really good far right, really good far left. But once I get into that like second, third arrow zone, um, there's just something about the way that I throw the ball and just not seeing transition the right way that typically I struggle in there but the trend two actually is able to really do well in that zone for me and in a situation like nationals where I don't want to necessarily move super far left super fast the trend two is going to be a great option because if it's clean enough I can just be nice and easy to it and play in that track zone I can get it in the air to get it over the fronts a little bit if I have to depending on how our transition is going but also I'm able to just kind of creep left with it and not have to make like big area moves I can just focus on floating it through the middle part of the lane and letting that slow transition again just get me into the pocket I'm not not focused necessarily on shooting 2100 I'm focused on shooting 1800 because I haven't done it yet because I suck but trend 2 is gonna get me in the pocket more than I think some of the other options that I have so what rounds everything out we've gone from urethane to a Zen to a reality to a trend 2 all four of those bowling balls are slow transitioning bowling balls and that's the trap that I've put myself in for the last three years when the lanes get tough when they get tight, when they hook a ton, I have all of these slow bowling balls and all of a sudden I either can't get up to the pocket because I have to move too far left or I cannot get a 10 pin out because all I can do is roll it and hope that I just kind of swish everything around. So I need a quick bowling ball. Honestly, since I started 10 pin life, the Hustle Wine has been probably one of my favorite shapes out of any ball that I've thrown. It's not afraid to see friction and start to turn left. And this is a different look than I've actually ever brought with out to nationals. This one is all about having a ball that when singles comes around, I can move a little bit extra left and I can use the friction that we build in. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I really do like to focus on team play, team communication, that sort of stuff. So building up a decent amount of friction to the right, just playing the lanes the quote unquote right way. But when I have all of these big slow bowling balls, what happens is my low tilt just makes the ball burn up. So a ball like the Hustle Line is going to allow me to bump left and actually use that. It's gonna control the break point a little bit, but it's also not gonna be afraid to stand up and go left once it's actually to the end of the pattern. And hopefully my carry percentage will go up. But honestly, it is a little bit of a hope and a prayer. I'm making a carry decision with this bowling ball, not necessarily a control decision. The Rotogrip RST X2 was very much considered for this spot over the Hustle line, but honestly, I'm so tired of leaving seven pins and 10 pins and singles that I'm ready, willing, and maybe able to do something different. So that's my six. And as you can tell, there's probably gonna be some modifications between now and the first weekend in May. But if you were to go out to Vegas today, what are you gonna bring with? I wanna know what your six ball, four ball, 10 ball, if you get to drive, whatever it is, Arsenal, is going to be if you're gonna go out to South Point here in December of 2021. Let me know in the comments. But that is gonna be it for this one, you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button before you go and share this with your friends to start that conversation about how you and your team want to play the lanes this year at Nationals. But that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for checking it out. And don't forget, your best life is a 10-pin life. See ya.